What's up, Kyle? Back for two days. We're back. Love doing these double We're duties. Back. Oh yeah! All back right, to back. So we got the Charles Schwab Challenge in uh, at Colonial this week. Yep, should be a nice easy one. R seventy. Yep, should be a nice easy one for the boys after that freaking <laughs> terrible week at uh, Kiowa. Yeah, I believe the cut line here has been minus one the past two years. That's pretty good. Um, it's a par seventy, seven thousand two hundred nine yards. Um, they play here every year. Last year, who was Burger it? One? Um, Burger One. Burger won beat Morikawa in a playoff. In a playoff, first uh, last year was yep. this. This one was the first one after the uh, three month layoff for COVID. First right. week back, so this That's was right. one of the toughest fields they've ever had. Mm-hmm. Um, it favors uh, shorter hitters. Got a lot of dog legs. Yep. Um, favors people who are good at approach and putting. Everyone who's won this, I've been looking, has was super hot with putting that week. Yep. And honestly, not only have they been super hot, but besides like Morikawa, who's not a, typically a great putter, yeah. people with a good putting history have done well here. Right. Such as like a Jordan Spieth. Yeah. And even uh, Louis Uwe, who, I mean, he missed some putts this week, but normally he's, he's lights out with his putting. Yeah. Yep. Kevin Na has done well here. Yep. Um. So yeah, it's a good field, like you said. Justin Thomas is playing. Morikawa, Reed, got a got a bunch of top guys. Um. And we could just jump into it if you want to. Yeah, let's go right in. Um. All right, we will start on um, DraftKings, like we always do. Yep, yeah, we'll go 10K plus. Uh, 10K plus starts at Jordan Spieth, top ranked golfer over Justin Thomas. All the way down to Daniel Berger at ten thousand. Uh, who do you like in this range, Scott? It's not a big range. No, it's not. And uh, I think there's going to be a lot of value plays this week. I like. Well, obviously, I like Spieth. Uh, he, he's a great putter. And uh, obviously, I think uh, more more Kawa will uh, want some revenge for his playoff loss, his missed putt last year in the playoff to uh, give Daniel Berger the win. Uh, so those sure. are, those are my two guys, and then, I mean, the other two are solid: JT and Reed and Berger. Uh, I don't think Berger wins back to back this year. I agree. I, I'm not never a Berger guy. I know I probably should be. He freaking finishes top twenty all the time, right? Um, but I actually like Justin Thomas for DraftKings uh, tournaments. Right. I don't think he'll be popular. Uh, people are either going to take Spieth, or I think p- a lot of people are going to avoid this range altogether. Right. Yeah, there's this week. There's it looks like there's a lot in the in the nine k that you can yeah. get. You know, for a couple hundred bucks cheaper, you can get pretty much a guy who's almost as good, if not better, than Daniel Berger. And like you said, um, I'm I'm on Patrick Reed this week. Yeah, uh, he's been playing some decent golf. This is a course that fits him. He's a lights out putter. Um, and he's a guy. He's always wants a dog fight. He always want is trying to win win tournaments, no matter what it is. Um, so those are my two. I'll I'll go opposite of you this week, and I'll take Justin Thomas and Patrick Reed. Yeah, yeah. I think I think we uh, see some some uh, really low scores this week. Um, guys, after those hard majors, and especially in tough courses. When they get to some, something that's a step down in difficulty level, they seem to almost breathe like a sigh of relief, where they can actually just you know attack the course instead of just fighting for survival. Right. You know. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Take us down to the nine Ks. We got Willie Z ninety nine hundred, all the way down to uh, Kokrak, Jason Kokrak at nine thousand. Yeah. Um. I love Will Zalatoris. He's been playing awesome golf. I'm yep. still on him here. Uh, 9900 is a good price for him. Yeah, definitely. Uh, this range is filled with great golfers. Abraham Anser at 97. I like Scotty Scheffler at 95. Corey Connors is playing lights out at 94. Yep. Joaquin Neiman, uh, 93. Yep. Um, but the guys I'm on most this week will be, I'll pick three of them in this range, okay. so they're bigger. Willie Z, yep. 99. I also like uh, Scotty Scheffler at 95, the Texas narrative, um, 
And I love Sanjay in this week. And I'm hoping he'll go low owned. Mm. Um, I'm with you on the but first. Of course, two. like yeah, I'm with you on the course first. Like this should fit pretty well for Sanjay. Yes, and I'm with you 100 percent on the first two in uh, Zalatoris and Scheffler. Uh, and I also really love Abe Answer this week. Uh, if I had to pick a fourth, yeah, it'd be Abe. Yeah, yeah. Um, can't go wrong with Corey Connors. Uh, Neiman scares me a little bit this week just because how bad he's been around the greens. Yeah, um, that is a major concern. <laughs> yeah, but he's so good everywhere else that it might not matter. Uh, someone that might get overlooked is Jason Kokrak, who's been hitting the ball amazingly. Um, but I don't like a Kokrak at 9,000. No, that's too can't. much. Yeah, and Woodland... I can't get back on the wooden train just yet. He's been too bad for too long. Yeah. And if we go down to the 8Ks, starting with Justin Rose going down to Brian Harmon, is pretty shocking to see Phil Mickelson at 8,500 this it week is. after winning a major. I think it's definitely an auto fade for Phil. Uh, can't agree more. Auto fade. Auto fade. That's recency bias at its max. Yeah. Before that, before the PGA, I mean, he was, he'd been what was he like for shit. for the PGA like in the sixes? Yes. Maybe maybe yeah. low sevens, high sixes. He's he's been in the in the high sixes, low sevens all year. Mm-hmm. And now now he, rightfully so. Yeah, too. rightfully so. He hasn't been playing all that great except for last week. Yeah. So who do you like in the in the eights? In the eights, uh, let's see. I like Horschel at 88, Mr. Billy. Um, and if you not really much jumping out at me, uh, Tringali is a good bet at 8,100. 8, good value there. Other than that, I can't see myself playing too many of these guys. I'm with you I on Horschel. Yeah, um, I think it's going to be a lot of nines and sevens. So I'm with you on Horschel big time. That was like my play of the week. It's Billy Horschel. Yeah. Um, also love Justin Rose. He's a guy who can win here. Right. Um, I know he's been erratic ever since he changed clubs like an idiot. <laughs> um, <laughs> but but he's a guy who can come out and win. And then the only other guy I like in this range is Charlie Hoffman, who's just been playing so good. Yeah. For, for a long time now. Um, so I like Charlie Hoffman. Uh, I could see myself playing Kevin Na and, and uh, Matt Wallace in some lineups, but not like you said. This is a week to maybe go nines Lo- and then load up on the nines the and then fill in the gaps with sevens and sixes. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Because seven uh, Ks. Yeah, because this is a an easier course, so a lot of uh, cheaper guys can can go off here. Oh, and that's another good point. Is um, what is it? Fifty percent of the field makes a cut here, so right. Uh, it's going to be a lot more people making the cut as opposed to prior weeks. Seven uh, Ks is starting at Brent Snedeker, seventy nine, and we go all the way down to Sebastian Munoz at seven thousand. Um, I do like Brent Snedeker this week. Yeah, he's been playing some better golf. When he gets hot with the putter, he gets super hot with the putter. Um, <laughs> so he's someone I like this week. Uh, Cage Lee looks like he has withdrawn from the Charles Schwab, so don't yep. take him. I will be back on Siwoo Kim, even though he let us down last week. And I love Harold Varner this week as well. Yeah, I'm with you on yeah. that. I would also uh, – it's worth – Throwing in uh, Sabatini, he did uh, very well here last year. Let me see where he, he finished at minus ten uh, in. Uh, actually, looks like just outside the top ten at tied for fourteen last year. Uh, so he's he does pretty well at this course. I think uh, he likes it a yeah, lot. Yeah, I, li- I like that. Uh, also, our boys are in this range. Doug Gim. Uh, he fits the model so well for yep, this course. Not super he just long. Cannot putt. Yeah. He just can't putt. Kevin Kisner 
has been playing some of the worst golf <laughs> in his career. Yeah. But he typically would fit this course perfect. Yeah. Um, so <clears throat> he may be a uh, tournament guy. And then Harry Higgs finished fourth last week. Right. <sighs> right. This this could be a letdown spot for him too, though, because he yeah super outperformed big, his uh, his big value. Man Higgs. This range is actually full of our boys, yes. Johnny Vegas. Johnny, I was gonna say, I was thinking about taking another shot at the on good the Johnny value. Vegas train. And Pat Perez, another good value. Yeah, yeah. There's some good value at the bottom of this range. Johnny Vegas is playing some pretty good golf right now. He sure is. The 6K range is starting out with Zach Johnson, and we are going all the way down to uh, Compton, Air Compton at 6K. I have no idea who that is. <laughs> but for the 6K uh, range here, a couple of guys uh, standing out. I'm not super high on, on the sixes, but uh, Cam Champ. You. Cam Champ did really well here last year. I think he was another guy in the top ten, or uh, or right outside it. Yeah, uh, tied for 14 with uh, Sabatini and uh, Answer and a couple other guys. But uh, he he does pretty well here. Um, uh, Enrico Nordlander, no. Duffner, God no. Um. Uh, Cameron Percy might do well here, and uh, I could see taking a, a flyer on Cabrera Bayo out of Spain. Uh, he did pretty well in the last couple of tournaments he was in. Finished higher than John Rahm when I said no, no way, uh, <laughs> no way that would ever happen. Right. And uh, uh, go ahead, Kyle. I have a couple guys I like this that are only tournament plays. Yeah. Uh, please don't play them in cash. But Henrik Stenson, he showed some life last week. He had the, the club break, which you got to love. Mm. Um, but he's been making cuts. And if he could get back in form, I mean, he's a top. he, he was a top golfer. Um, yeah. So to see him as low as 6,700, making cuts. If he makes the cut, I mean, 6,700, he almost pays off right there. Absolutely. Um, another guy I like is Benny Ahn, another guy who's been playing terrible golf, but when he's good, he's pretty good. He finished 49th last week, and I love his activity on Twitter. <laughs> I'll say it again. Love it. Just smashing just haters. just chirp him. Yep. Yeah. He just keeps going. He's, he tweeted this week that he wants to be like Phil when he grows up. <laughs> When he grows up. The guy's up. great. Yeah. The guy's great. <laughs> uh, then we have our boy, Vincent Whaley, down here at 6,200. Uh, he hasn't missed cut, so I don't know why he, he is 6,200. So he hasn't had any regression. Right. Uh, DraftKings just doesn't respect him, apparently. No, no respect. <laughs> uh, I can, so I can also see taking a flyer on <laughs> someone like a list if you're – you know, yes. loading up on the 9K guys like, and, you, and you run out of money. I was like a Luke List. And then you got to talk about Michael Visaki. Um, he just recently qualified. He, there's a video out of him calling his dad, uh, telling him he qualified for his first uh, PGA event, which was the Valspar. Um, and that went viral. And Charles Schwab uh, heard it. Gave him a call and said that you also qualified for our tournament. Nice. So he'll be playing, and he is six thousand. So if you want a feel good play, yeah, that's Michael Vasicki at at six thousand bucks. That's um, that's ha worth it. Have, have you made any teams this week? Not yet. Uh, just messing around. Made one quick. Uh, have Taylor Gooch, Siwoo Kim, Colin Morikawa, and Taylor Gooch is someone we didn't talk about. Who's seventy three hundred? Pretty good value. Um, yeah. Siwoo Kim, Colin Morikawa, Harold Varner, Johnny Vegas. Johnny Vegas. Uh, so that's uh, a couple 9K guys. And then I, this one's a more balanced one. I have your boy, Abe Answer, 9,700. I have Billy Ho, 88. I have my boy, uh, Sung Jay. Love Sung Jay. 91. Yep. And Justin Rose, 89, filled in with Doug Gim. 
uh, at 72 because I can't quit him. Yeah. And Vincent Whaley at 62. Um, I like that squad. Yeah. Quite a bit. Yeah. Whaley is uh, definitely good. He's, he's a solid pick for 6,200 if it allows you to get someone like an answer or, or a Sung J. I was going to ask you, since we picked two different 10K players this week, do you want to do a challenge? Always. You have Spieth and Morikawa. Okay. I have Thomas and Reed. And we can either do it by DraftKings points, like if, who, which combo makes most DraftKings points, or we could do finishing positions. Um, well, those two would loser. probably be pretty similar, correlated. Right? Yeah. Want to just do DraftKings points? We'll just do DraftKings points. Okay. Um, we'll do DraftKings points. Whoever, Whichever combo gets the most DraftKings points wins. Loser, what? Shotguns of beer. Has the shotgun of beer posted on Twitter? Shotguns of beer, and uh, let's put some Emacs on the line. Okay. Uh, what do you think? 500 million? 500 million Emacs on the line. All right. All right. Mark it down. Scott's got Spieth and Hand Morikawa. Shape. I have Thomas and Patrick Reed. All right. I like that. All right. Yeah. Add a little spice. Do you want to go over some props? Yes. Are props even out yet? Um, yeah. We got props. Let me log in. I'll tell you... To How how old is John Daly? <laughs> He's old. And he has cancer too, I'm pretty sure. Oh, hold on. This is John Daly the second. Oh. Will John Daly the second win a major before the age of fifty? Yes is plus two thousand. <laughs> so I actually don't have odds yet. DraftKings does not have odds for the Charles Schwab up. No, I don't have any props yet either. So we'll do those on the website. Oh, here we go. I lied. I lied to you. All right. I have odds. I have no props. All right. Do you do you have odds? I have odds. I have no props either. Okay. We can go over some odds. Yeah. Um, Jordan Spieth, plus 1,050. Um, do you like that? Or is that not enough? Uh, you know, I think it's warranted because – but I don't really like taking favorites at plus 1,000. I would yeah. I would prefer it if he was like plus eighteen hundred like an A answer or a DB, um, but you want to go over a couple long shots who you think you can win. Yeah, long shot. Uh, Got to be say? plus ten thousand or higher. <sighs> True long shot. True. Okay. Uh, you want to go? Let's go sixty six hundred. Okay. Because Kokrak is. 5,000, and then Snedeker That's is 6,600. <laughs> That's the same. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I have I have way different odds on Snedeker. What, what's he at? If you want some good odds on Snedeker, uh, I have 9,000. You could lock in Snedeker right now, 9,000. Really? Yeah. Fucking Bovad is fucking us. Killing you. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um... If I had to pick a long shot, I'm going Sibu Kim, 7,000. Matt Wallace, 7,000. I like both of them right there. Um, HV3, 10,000. I was just looking at him. HV3, 10,000. I like that a lot. Uh, yeah. Who do you like? I could go. I could get behind a Johnny Vegas... At a plus twelve five, uh, I could see Cam Davis doing well here at plus twelve five. And let me get one that can actually win. <laughs> uh, how about Cameron Tringali plus sixty six hundred? That's good odds. Yeah, I like that. I like that. My man He's Vincent playing well. Whaley plus twenty two five. <sighs> Benny on plus thirty. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I think I actually remember hearing on uh, on CBS on Sunday that 
at the start of the week, Phil Nicholson was plus 30,000. Yeah, he was. He sure was. <laughs> God damn. Fucking crazy. Long shots, and baby. It's not up yet, but uh, we will be taking Willie Z to top 40. Yes. Don't <laughs> yeah. even question it. <laughs> Just right. do it. Yep. And I think we yeah. might have to go back to the well on Cam Davis's top uh, Australian player. I like it. Yeah. You gotta like keep riding it. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll put something out for the uh, props once they're out. Yeah, throw them up on the website. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. There.